Automatic Gain Control Module. Automatic Gain Control can be assigned to an input. Please note that AGC can only be assigned to inputs which have assignable inserts. Automatic Gain Control can also be assigned to each output as a selectable insert. Use AGC on the input stage for making all the signals from a given source more consistent in level. For example, an iPod or a CD player, where different songs may play through the system at different levels. We don't recommend using AGC on the input stage if you plan on using a volume zone controller to control that input's gain. This is because as you turn the gain control on the zone controller, the AGC will try to compensate for these gain changes. The same goes for the output stage. If using a volume zone controller for adjusting output or zone volume, you wouldn't want to use AGC on the output stage. To open the AGC module, simply double left click on the module for the input or output in which you would like to edit. To turn the AGC on, click the on button. The target parameter allows you to select the desired target level. The gain parameter allows you to adjust the maximum amount of gain that the AGC algorithm will apply. The window parameter allows you to adjust the window or range. AGC will constantly adjust the gain in the attempt to keep the level within this set window. In other words, this sets how much the signal level is allowed to veer from the set target level. The threshold parameter sets the level which must be exceeded before the AGC algorithm will begin to process the signal. This parameter prevents the AGC algorithm from boosting the noise floor when no signal is present. The attack parameter sets the speed at which a level change will be affected after it crosses the threshold or moves above or below the target level. The release parameter sets the rate of change that will take effect after the signal level has fallen below the threshold and will no longer be controlled by AGC. The limiter threshold parameter allows you to set a ceiling on the signal level. The limiter attack parameter sets how quickly or slowly the limiter will begin attenuating the signal once the threshold has been exceeded. The release parameter sets the rate at which the limiter will release the attenuated signal once the signal level falls below the set threshold. The auto button turns the automatic attack and release function on or off. When auto is on or lit orange, the manual attack and release parameters will be overridden by the auto function. Therefore, turn auto off if you plan to use manual attack and release settings. The target indicators are a visual indicator to let you know if you're below the target area, within the target area, or above the target area. The limiter threshold indicator shows you when the limiter threshold has been exceeded and limiting is occurring. The gain reduction meter shows you how much gain or attenuation is being applied.